Okay, so this is the second lecture on the uh, signal and system series. In this lecture, we will be dealing with the discrete signals. The first lecture was about the continuous signals only. Uh, here we will be dealing with the unit step function, unit ramp in the discrete domain. Okay. So when we are dealing with these sort of function, uh, first of all, let's design the unit uh, step, unit impulse, and unit ramp functions. These functions are uh, designed the ramp rectangular width for a control G C V it is equal to F. So these are unit step, unit ramp, unit impulse, and ramp function of uh, step size more than one unit. Then the rectangular pulse of two widths. Uh, so this is the far function which we are going to design in this. So instead of using when we designed a discrete uh, signal, instead of using plot here or subplot here, sorry, plot here, we use a stem function. So stem function corresponds to the discrete set of functions. Apart from that, there is no other change in the signal, this signal, and uh, and we denote it by u of n, uh, where 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 the continuous time signal was denoted by t, n is the time interval. At which interval, what is the value? So if we run the program, we will get the the signal and system which is taking a bit of time. So this is what we get when we run the system. The first is the unit step function starting from zero because we have given the range from minus four to four. So it is giving us the values from till zero. There is no change in the response, but at zero there is one then it is uh, then then it is uh, continuously changing its value at one it is one at two it is one hundred so on up to minus up to four it is one so four uh, zero all the values are zero now as far as the unit impulse response is concerned it is uh, now we all know that uh, impulse response is zero uh, is one at a value of zero so it is one at value of zero uh, for rest of the function it is zero the ramp function is uh, in the form of a ramp uh, at a unit at 0 to 1. So it gives a value of 1 at 1 because this is not a continuous function. So there is not any signal in between this function. If we see the ramp function between 0 to 3, then the ramp function is like this 0, 1, 2, and 3. So it is increasing with respect to time. <coughs> And the last function is the rectangular pulse of two two second width. Uh, this is the first pulse. Then it is increasing at one is equal to one plus one. Then two it is again decreasing. So this is the rectangular pulse which is formed in the discrete time signal. Uh, that was all about this tutorial. Uh, hope you like this one also. And uh, if you like this one, please give it a big thumbs up and uh, do subscribe for more stuff. I'll be posting the next lecture tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching.